if I wasn't able to get this video up before February 1st, I was not going to do it. <laughs> but it's the 26th, so I'm still good. And then too, I was getting requests to our, our questions asking me if I was going to do a best of beauty 2013. So I figured I would get that rolling today. I'm going to start off with a, a couple of skincare things first. Uh, this here is the Foreo for sensitive skin is the one that I have. This little device here is is amazing. It's like it's I can use it daily and it doesn't turn my skin irritated. It doesn't turn it red. But since I do use a retinol and in the morning when I wake up there's there's some skin not like flaking off but some exfoliation that could be done to get that off this removes that and it does that and it does it in a way that is absolutely not irritating like I said I can use it every day and then on top of that the battery on this this hasn't been on the charger since October and I use it every day <laughs> so I think that's part of the price is is um how long the battery lasts and you don't have to buy brush heads and then on top of not having to buy brush heads I just feel like even with the sensitive brush heads, the acne brush head, I've tried them all, but every one of them f feels full on scratchy on my skin compared to this. And it's just, I love it. I'm, t I'm tempted. I'm so tempted to get a, a backup of this just because if anything were to go wrong, I don't ever want to be without it. And I absolutely love it. And they do sell it at Sephora now as well. Second skincare thing is this Paula's Choice Earth Source Cleanser. I have been using this since they they um, released this product, which was probably uh, maybe two years. I could be wrong on that, but um, this is the only product in the in the entire beauty arsenal of things, lotions, serums, makeup, everything in that whole genre. This is the only thing that I consider a holy grail product for me. It's something that a face cleanser it's something that I never ever buy anything else of and I have absolutely no desire to buy anything else of or try anything else like it so I mean I do have other products that I really love and I just really really love them but I'll still try something else you know what I mean I, I still have the curiosity to try something else this I don't it's it's amazing I don't have to use makeup remover I don't use makeup remover wipes nothing I just jump in the shower at night time and use a little pea size amount gets all my makeup off and then I go in and do a second wash off and it, my face is just so squeaky clean I, I adore it. Pure raw unpasteurized honey has been a godsend to my face this year. I started using it I think the beginning of October I can't remember it was in one of my favorites videos but I haven't stopped using it since I actually mix it into my moisturizer morning and night which it does require you to work a little bit differently if you use it during the daytime with your makeup which is fine with me because I'd much rather make my skincare work with my makeup than the other way around because it's your skin you know I'd rather have things on there that's gonna be doing good for it but I haven't had any flaking on my face all winter long and it's dry and it's cold here I'm up in North Dakota it is cold here like what was it two weeks ago it was with the wind chill, it was like negative 50 something. It's ridiculous, but I usually would like peel right around here and nothing. Uh, I use a little bit less of the honey during the daytime, and then I use a pretty good glob, about a, a third to two, two thirds moisturizer to a, a third honey at nighttime. So it's just, I love it. Then some like face base products. Uh, the Dr. Dark Black Label Detox BB Beauty Balm. It is SPF 25. It's got good skin conditioning agents and a high mineral SPF in it which um, along with the I might as well throw it in there the Rage KCC cream which I get this from Lisa Lisa D1's blog um, both of these products are something that I use um, in the winter time if I go somewhere I'll use these in, in place of a sunscreen but I also top it with a powder with SPF just because since it's winter I'm actually not going to be outside outside but I will be subjected to the sun if I'm like going somewhere and stuff like that and then in the in the summertime I will put sunscreen on these on and then I'll top it with a powder because I ain't gonna be burning in the summertime um, I'm outside a lot so these are both really good products with mineral sunscreens they're not irritating they also contain some good ingredients for your skin so they're helping your skin out while they're on there so I really enjoy both of these products another thing that I carry with me all the time 
Um, it works as a refresher. It works as a moisturizer if my face is happening to feel a little bit tight throughout the day or anything like that. Or right when I'm done putting on my makeup, if it feels just a little bit um, dry after I put my makeup on. Uh, the Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray. I, I love this stuff. I've been actually using it for years. Quite, yeah, so probably since it came out. <laughs> I've gone through bottles and bottles and bottles of this, but I do carry one in my purse. I have one right over there. I have one in my bathroom. <laughs> They're hanging out all over the place, but this is a, a really good moisturizing uh, spray, and it also has good ingredients for your skin, so I really, really enjoy this. And then the foundation that I have been, it's like go-to. It is quick. It's easy. It's got SPF in it. It makes your skin, my skin, well, I feel like it makes my skin look flawless, and if I'm up to the mirror, um, you can't detect makeup on my face, which is something that, that I strive for whenever I'm using any type of products on my face. I don't want to see it, you know what I mean? It's going to be doing its job and stuff like that, but if somebody's like looking at me, I don't want them to be able to detect particles of makeup. <laughs> and uh, I can use this stuff by itself or like over those BB creams and stuff like that, and it's, it's just, it's amazing. It is the Laura Geller balance and brighten foundation and I use two shades I use the fair one these are almost shot by the way <laughs> I use fair and porcelain so this is the fair one and here is the porcelain one I know I need to do a, um, a foundation routine video I know I need to do that <laughs> soon hopefully anyway this is the lighter one I, I dust through the center of my face and then like kind of underneath my concealer that I put on and then I mix the two together and buff that throughout the rest of my face. And these these are just beautiful products. They have SPF in them. They look great. Uh, if there's any wear on them throughout the day, it's not noticeable. You don't notice breakdown of makeup. It's They're just amazing products. I get mine on Hot Look. I stock up on Hot Look when that stuff is on there. And it it's a lot cheaper that way. Because I think they're fairly expensive for a powder. I think they're 30 some dollars originally. Which is pretty expensive for a powder. But I love these. They are straight up go-to's. If I'm in a hurry, it takes me probably a minute to slap this stuff on my face. So I really love it. Another product that I go through like crazy all year round is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer SPF 15. And this is in the one Reserve Rear Cabana. I know, <laughs> I know a lot of people use this for, for a highlighter. Um, it's too dark for me to use this highlighter. So what I do, and I know I need to do this, another an updated video on my contouring and stuff like that too, but um, whatever bronzer I use on my face, I, I like to run it right, just just dust it a little bit right here, and then I blend it out with this powder on my neck. And usually I do have, especially in the summertime, I have a pretty good layer of sunscreen over that. So I put this powder on top, which also has SPF 15, and it kind of sets that sunscreen, and it fully blends my face makeup into my neck. It's like... It's just perfect for that for me. So I've gone through, I don't even know how many of these. I, I should do an empties video. I have a whole bunch of empties, but I'm, I'm a slacker. <laughs> so anyway, I adore this stuff. I don't have a concealer, but I have two concealer setting powders that I I love on both ends, ends of the spectrum. Um, one is this high definition under eye setting powder from e.l.f. It is a really finely milled white powder with some little tiny like glitter flex in them but the glitter doesn't really adhere they just kind of brush off I don't know where they go <laughs> but I've gone through a few of these here and th what I love about this it doesn't change ashy it doesn't change deep it it doesn't meddle with the concealer that you put on when it hits a um, emollient surface like so many powders that I try I've got white powders and like all kinds of ones that you're supposed to use to set under eye, you know, concealer, and they, as soon as they hit that concealer, they just deepen up, and it's like, well, what's the point? You're trying to brighten up that area, you know? I, I love this stuff. I get it when studio stuff is like 50% off on the website. I stock up $1.50. Like, you can't beat it. This, to me, blows, um, which I think it's trying to be like the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, but this is 20 times better than that, in my opinion. I, I love it. And then the other one is a product by Cogendo, and I also get this off of Hot Look. Hot Look? Hot Look? <laughs> um, it's the Cogendo My Fawn Sheet UV Face Powder SPF 20. This is another product that adds, um, as opposed to the e.l.f. one, if I was using a little bit sheerer concealer, this will add the tiniest amount of coverage 
on top of the concealer and it will also add that SPF 20 it is a mineral sunscreen as well and in the summertime that is holy grail for me to have this here underneath my eyes that SPF 20 um, even though I'm always wearing sunglasses I always like to double up that protection so I really love this it's also really beautiful to set um, sometimes I'll use it just to set a BB cream like the the Dr. Jart or whatever BB cream I decided to use with SPF I'll set it or foundation um, set it with this and it's it's got a really beautiful finish to it and then your added SPF so I really love the those two products especially for setting under eye concealer let's talk about some brushes I have found some brushes that I'm just head over heels for <laughs> um, this past year um, the first ones I'll talk about are these Marc Jacobs brushes they're they're pretty expensive but they're amazing they're like wicked awesome heavy duty quality they blend out makeup amazing everything so this first one is called the face one I absolutely adore this to put on um, buff on mineral foundation or like my the Laura Geller or whatever mineral foundation I like to use because I do like to use mineral foundations and it's it's amazing it's also great to buff out contour and blush and you know finish off your whole face with this I love that one and then the other one is the Marc Jacobs the bronze brush uh, I don't really use this much for bronzing as I do use it for an overall finishing powder at the end like my Guerlain Meteorite Pearls or the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder something like that is what I really like and it just it just buffs everything flawlessly with those finishing powders and I also like to use it to um, clean up fallout underneath my underneath my eyes if I'm using an eyeshadow that happened to fall out on my cheek I just like to run it under there and it just brushes it away because it's really really soft for that area the other brush is the face 2 brush this is amazing to put on um, your BB creams or your foundations it's a it's got a crazy like angle to it but super soft all these brushes are really soft it's got this this angle to it and it really buffs in the foundation good and I thought I mentioned this just in case I don't later on or I forget about it they did come out with a mini size version of this brush and it's the Con Marc Jacobs the conceal brush and it is straight up a mini version of the face 2 brush and it, it works pretty doggone good for concealer and then the real techniques multitask brush by Samantha Chapman I can do everything but my concealer because it's hard to get into this little area right here I can do my whole face with this bronzer highlighter blush uh, foundation like my mineral foundation I can do my whole face with it this brush is amazing I have a whole container plump full of them I wish they sold them separately because I do like to switch out my my face brushes every two or three days so and I you know I slack on washing them so I go through them pretty fast but if they sold this separately I'd probably have 10 more this is just a really really amazing brush another one is the elf flawless concealer brush I, this is another brush that I have a load of and I get them when elf is having their studio sale a dollar fifty this thing it's comparable very comparable to the Sephora airbrush concealer brush as well but this thing here just I've used it today it blends out concealer amazing it's soft it's it's really nice on the delicate skin around that you know your eye area and it's a dollar fifty like <laughs> these two brushes make me wonder why I have as many brushes as I do you know what I mean but um, they're just really really great brushes for not a bad price at all and then you know if you watch like the tutorial parts of my videos I am full-on obsessed with my goss brushes uh, the eye brushes I have not I tried to use a Sedona lace brush I think two days just to try it out because it was a new one but I can't venture away from these I'm having a hard time getting away from these eye brushes and then also the number two brush I have a couple of these I use it for highlighter blush uh, contouring <laughs> I absolutely adore the goss brushes and then a brush that I wasn't using very much was the number one brush because I don't use a lot of cream like products and then I just you know I just thought just give it a just give it a shot and start using like your NARS multiple or something and I did which I use I got Luxor on the top of my cheeks today NARS multiple and Luxor and this brush I kid you not I don't know what it is about it because I have some that are like similar from other brands or like the elf stipple brush this thing here is I don't know what it is but it blends out cream products over powder which because I use powder blends them out just amazing so I've actually you'll probably see some cream products in my January favorites because I've been using them because I have something that puts them over powder nice without making that you know your foundation skip or get patchy and stuff so um, I adore my goss brushes they're 
they're amazing. A mascara that I feel like I've been using every single day probably all of 2013 and continuing into 2014 is the Clump Crusher by CoverGirl. Um, either this one or the volume one, the volume exact, or both versions of the Clump Crusher mascara. Um, I use them daily as a mascara primer. I can use them by themselves, but it will require maybe five coats as opposed to two coats of a, a different mascara to get the, the effect. But this here primes your lashes so nice. And I feel like it makes any mascara work that much better. It, it separates your lashes out perfectly and puts the finest coat of black mascara on them. So when you go in with a different mascara, it's like you're applying them to perfectly separated lashes and it's got a coat of black on there so it also adheres to it. Anyway, this stuff is amazing as a mascara primer. I adore it. And then a brow product that's been my ride or die is the Quite Natural Paint Pot by MAC. Um, this, is a, this is a newer one. My other one is used up in the empties but I have been venturing and trying out other brow products late, lately and I still go back to this. <laughs> um, I've used it all of 2013. It's just a really amazing product for me for my brows. Two eyeliners that I think are absolutely amazing on the waterline are the NARS Larger Than Life liners and also the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayons. I wish these came in more colors. These are, both of these products are really amazing. Um, I may have just a teeny, teeny bit more favoritism towards the Marc Jacobs one, but I love both of them a lot. They stay, I wipe my, because my eyes are like so sensitive, they're like really watery. So I wipe off my waterline gently with a Q-tip and then go right in with this and it it allows that liner to grab onto a dry surface and set faster and it lasts a lot longer on my waterline for me. But these are two really great liners for the waterline. These are really two great liners for the waterline. So and then also the the um Chanel liners are really good too, but they're not as creamy as these two. But I do like those as well for the waterline. The Chanel waterproof ones. A couple lip products that have been my straight up go-to's. <laughs> when I get up real early and I'm in a massive hurry, these are just no thought required, instantly gravitate towards these products. The first one is my Clinique Sky Violet Lip Liner. Uh, I love Clinique's lip liners. This one in particular is one that I've been using for years and it also works. It's like a purple, a purpley pink uh, lip liner, which this type of color is kind of hard to find in a lip liner and they stay really well as well <laughs> and that particular lip liner works great with these two lipsticks um the marvelous moxie fly high which this is my this is a the second tube the other one's in my purse and it's like down to the nubs it looks like that these lipsticks in general are a best of 2013 for me i wish that they would broaden their color range because i really really love the marvelous moxie lipsticks the lip liners are great as well they need to broaden their color range on those too <laughs> but uh that's what the fly high looks like and then the MAC lipstick in Snob is it also another go-to for me. Yeah, you know, they look fairly similar. <laughs> Here's Snob and there is the Marvelous Moxie Fly High. And there's the Clinique Sky Violet Lip Liner which goes great with both of those. Those are just go-tos and lip products that I wear a lot. And then I'm just going to touch on these products briefly because I, I feel like I've talked about them quite a bit. <laughs> uh, the M Cosmetics. I covered it up with the sticker here, but they're the little pots of lip balms. I love these. I ordered a couple more of the bubble gum and I think this one and I've got them laying all over in the house. <laughs> but they they color coordinate really well to go over a lot of different lipsticks. So if you're, you have a lipstick color that you really like and it, it is a little bit uncomfortable on the lips, I like to go over it with a coordinating shade of one of these and it just really, really makes them, that lipstick look a little bit better. So. And also they're great moisturizing lip balms and they smell amazing. And I, I love these little things. And then I do also love the M Cosmetics Life Palettes. I, there's quite a few things from M that I love, but I'm just going to tell you about these two. Um, I'm just showing you the Holiday Life Palette. I love, I love their shadows, their blushes. I've got the big ones. I just think that they're great. I think the products are great. I know some people don't like the lipsticks in with them or the blushes. For me, it ain't that big of a deal. Like you could pick apart um, a palette of makeup and there's plenty of other brands that do the same thing. Uh, but a lot of people are really having a problem with just this particular brand. I don't know why. For me, it's not a problem. I don't really, you know, I didn't buy them for the, the little lip products, although they're nice to have. And if you, you know, 
I'm pretty sloppy with makeup and I don't have no problems. <laughs> so anyway, I do love the Life Palettes from M as well. Let's talk about some highlighters. I'm a highlighter freak, but there's two in particular that I just can't stop using. <laughs> and that is the Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls 3D um, Physicians Formula Highlighter in Translucent Pearl. This is a product that I have been using for years and I've gone through several, several of them. You guys have probably seen this. I've noticed, I've just noticed recently that a few other, quite a few other people on YouTube have been talking about this, but um, I absolutely adore this powder for a highlighter. It's light enough for my skin tone and it's got a little bit of a pink sheen to it, which is also great for my pink undertone skin tone. And I really, really love this highlighter. <laughs> While I do absolutely love the Physicians Formula highlighter and I've been using it for years, a more recent love of mine out of all of my highlighters, I just, I really can't stop using it. I just want to use it every single day, <laughs> is the Fresh Glow Nude Radiance Bronzer Number 1 from uh, Burberry. Uh, kind of a spendy little product, but I love this stuff so much. It's kind of got a little bit of, just a hair of a pink undertone, but for my fair skin, it's perfect. It is it's perfect for right right up here it's what I got on today it it doesn't cast any form of a uh, a deeper sheen to this part of this, the face so it really will allow that area to look lifted <laughs> on my light skin I love it I really really love this powder I do have a backup of it as well and I hope it is in the permanent line I don't know if it is or not it's a fairly new product it released this past year but I cannot get enough of it fair skin girls possibly with pink undertones even yellow undertones it's beautiful. Then I have one blush that really really has stuck out to me lately and I haven't had it for that long but it's something that I can't stop using as well. <laughs> it is a go-to blush for me. It's beautiful on skin. If you guys can still get this I highly highly recommend it. It's the YSL Palette Parisian Night Rue de Babylon blush. It's the one with the little heart on the cover. I think they still have this at Neiman's. I've seen it. I've seen a few of these on a couple other websites like Saks or something. So, um, but I had this is so beautiful, and I have so many blushes. But I love it so much, and was using it so much since I've gotten it that I had to have a backup. <laughs> like, I don't remember if I've ever gone through a whole blush, but I had to have a backup of this. I think it's my only backup blush. <laughs> but um, this is a gorgeous, you guys. This is such a gorgeous 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 blush especially like fair skin tones anybody I think it would look great on it's got kind of a sheen to it but it's beautiful and I I love it I loved it when I got it and I love it still <laughs> now the next things I'm going to talk about are a brand as a whole because this is 2013 is the year that I discovered or not discovered I guess I'd always known about it but the year I finally took the plunge and bought some, and that is Tom Ford products. I've only ventured into lipsticks, blushes, and eyeshadows, and I recommend all three 110% because they're amazing. <laughs> um, this lipstick here is in Pink Dusk. Their lipsticks are amazing. They do kind of smell like vanilla. That's Pink Dusk right there. I I have Spanish pink in my purse, which is probably down to here. That's another lipstick I should have put with lipsticks, but <laughs> I've worn that quite a bit too since I've gotten it. But the lipsticks are amazing. And then the blush, I'll just show you this one here, is in Frantic Pink. This is also a really gorgeous, gorgeous blush. It kind of has the same little bit of, a little bit more peachy of a tone compared to the YSL one, and it's a little lighter, but divine, absolutely divine blushes. Doo -doo -doo. You guys ain't going to be able to see that, but highly recommend that. And then I'll show you just one of the quads here. This is the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad in number 9 Violet Dusk, which I believe is still available. It looks like that. This started, oh man, but I bought two of them when I was down in Vegas, I think probably last April or February. I don't even remember. But those are the first ones that I bought, and I swear I created a monster. Like, I seriously want them all. I know there's some that are discontinued, and... I've tried to just, you know, bury the hatchet with those and know that they're, you can't find them really. <laughs> but um, I'm sure that he's going to be coming out with some pretty, some new good stuff, so that's cool. I really, really love his eyeshadows. I just think they're top notch, and I love them. And I discovered them this past year. Tom Ford, Tom Ford. <laughs> and then I guess a go-to pro, another, I've picked a lot of go-to things for me, like if I was, in a rush like things that I could grab and know that they're gonna look good and this is something that I I reach for a lot and I don't think I've ever mentioned it before <laughs> but it's the NARS duo in Paramaribo 
it looks like this. I do um, coordinate it with a beigey, like light beige highlighter shade, but these are, they're so quick and easy for me. I slap this in the crease and then blend out the, the crease with this green and then I have that beige highlight on, under the brow bone and I also have it on the lid, but the, ugh, they're just so pretty. I don't know, I don't think this is a limited edition, but um, I absolutely adore this duo. Wear it tons. So that is that. And I think that wraps up my favorites of 2013. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful or informative. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later.